Hey, Dev Nations, Perez the Dev. I get asked this question a lot. How do you find time to read? Between managing time for relationships, friends, family, work, school, businesses, how do you find time to read? So today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at five different ways you can go ahead and find time to read throughout the day. First technique is very simple. Simply grab your book, walk to the bathroom, lock yourself away in the stall and sit down 10 to 15 minutes and just knock out a couple pages. Just lock yourself away for these 10 to 15 minutes focusing on reading. And not to mention, if you got to go, you can also take care of business while you're at it and multitask and just knock out a couple pages while you're there. And it's great because you're isolated away from everyone and you're able to just focus away. Second technique, have books by your bedside. When you have books, you know, just an arm's length away, you're able to go ahead and start and end your day with a book in hand. And a great little tip, by the way, that I've just picked up throughout the year, if you go ahead and read a book just for 10 minutes before going to bed, you actually end up uh, dreaming about those ideas and concepts that you just learned about. And so you never know when you might wake up with that $1 million idea, which I just think is really cool. You end up dreaming and building on that. So just a fun little tip, but whichever you prefer, you can start or end your day with a book right there by your bedside. Third technique is always walk and read. So if you, you know, especially when you're starting off without a car and you have to either take the bus or just walk to school or work wherever, you know, or if you're going to go on a walk with friends or family, significant other, whoever, by yourself, Take a book with you if you got to walk the dog and just go ahead and read your book while you're walking the dog or, you know, also working out for 10, 20 minutes, however long. That way you're not only working out your body, but you're also working out your mind. Fourth technique, always carry headset or headphones with you in order to listen to audiobooks. So again, I think this could also be best if you prefer not to walk and read at the same time. Ah, that's not for me. Go ahead and bring earbuds or headphones, whatever with you so you can listen to audiobooks while you're walking or sort of while you're on the move. And even for people that are within retail, when it gets sort of slow, that's some great time to go ahead and just pop some earbuds in while it's super slow. And you can go ahead and listen to an audiobook or two and knock out some reading throughout the day as well. Now, the fifth and last technique is to go ahead and turn off your phone notifications. Now, if you're sort of lazy like me and don't wanna do all that extra work of having to manually turn off every single you know, phone not notification, you can always turn off your phone or just swipe down and put your phone on airplane mode. And this is something I personally do. That way I can go ahead and about an hour before bed, just read, sort of reflect on the day, go to sleep. When I wake up, I won't even turn off airplane mode just yet. I'll make sure I do my morning ritual and read a little bit as well. It's sort of like an extra incentive to make sure that I'm reading and not to mention without having the phone, you know, I'm able to better focus in on what it is that I'm reading. And something else, I know people always uh, tend to mention, hey, but I like using my phone while I'm reading so I can look things up or look up a definition. Well, uh, a little technique, I would recommend, you know, getting a pencil or pen and some sort of notebook. You can always circle whatever concepts or words you're confused with and maybe put a question mark. You can look it up later or even go ahead and uh, Google that later on on your computer or on your phone afterwards, write it in your notebook too, and you can look that up later. That's just a little tip I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys on turning off your phone. And these are five different ways you can go ahead and find time to read. And I don't see why not if you just implement a few of these techniques every single day consistently, why you won't be able to go ahead and knock out reading a book a week or even a book a day. And by the way, if you find somebody that tells you, hey, I just don't have enough time to read, would you please go ahead and share this video with them and please make sure to like this video. Thanks for watching.